chair of the National Governors Association. She joins us. Nice to see you, Governor. Nice to see you too, Greta. So, Governor, are you one of those who are playing politics with people's lives that Secretary Sebelius is talking about? You are a Southern governor. I am a Southern governor, but let me just kind of frame this issue, Greta. We're talking about costs rising for businesses, for health insurance premiums. We're talking about individuals losing coverage. We're talking about 11 million individuals who know their insurance premiums are going to go up, and two-thirds of small businesses know their insurance premiums are going to go up. We know that people are losing jobs because of Obamacare. We know that states are going to be hit with billions of dollars of new costs with Medicaid expansion and, and uh, other costs associated with this program. So what's the politics about that? It's just not good public policy, and that's why when the vote was, occurred on the Affordable Care Act in Congress, when I was a member of Congress, and the bill was rolled out in the middle of the night and voted on the next day, and you saw all the Republicans vote against it. You know, we believed then, and we still believe now, that it's unworkable, it's unaffordable. That's why you see so many time delays on the legislation right now. Well, you were just here in Washington, as were all the governors, and President Obama met with you, and I don't know if you met with Secretary Sebelius. Um, why, why do you think the sudden sort of, uh, okay, so why suddenly the, the, you know, it's a crack, calling you plain politics, Southern governors. What provoked that, do you think? You know, I'm not really sure. I, I did see Secretary Sebelius, and I know she's got a really hard job, and it's, I've talked to her many, many times as the chair of the National Governors Association, and each governor has to do what they, they think is best for their own state. We all have unique circumstances. We all have our own political philosophy. You know, I choose as governor of Oklahoma and as a Republican conservative governor to do one thing. Others choose to do other things. But, you know, I think you have to put the blame back to where it belongs, and that is who is it that's administering this program? Are they helping you at all to the extent that uh, your state needs help from the federal government in trying to implement this law? Um, I know that you're probably not in favor of the law. It wasn't uh, your choice. But uh, are they helpful and receptive, or are they just sort of slapping you around with a crack? Well, that was a little bit of slap around, I guess, last night. But I will say that one thing that they have helped us on, we've had a program in Oklahoma since 2008 called Insure Oklahoma which is a three-way match where uh, small businesses and lower income people are able to purchase health insurance, a program we set up to where the individual pays a small portion, the business pays a portion, and then there's some matching funds for that. And it's worked very well for Oklahoma. We got notice last year they were going to discontinue it last December. I asked for an extension of the program. I said it's working. It's providing health insurance to low income people, helping small businesses. Let me keep that. And so I did get an extension on that, and for that I am very grateful. And one of the things that we heard at the National Governors Association meeting this weekend is that states are, are laboratories of innovation. There's some great programs for being able to cover more people with health care, being able to, to help lower costs. Let states have those waivers, have the flexibility so they can innovate, create, and certainly to improve access to health care in the nation. Is Obamacare going to, can it be a success in your state as you sort of look down the road, or do you see it as a disaster as you look down the road? Well, it hasn't had a, a rollout that's been very good. I mean, we saw time delay after time delay. You know, I saw a story in, in Oklahoma just recently to where a gentleman had a company, and it was a small business. He grew it, and it got up to about 70 employees. And because of the mandates with the new Obamacare program, he reduced his number of employees back down to uh, 50 because he just said he couldn't afford the increase in, in insurance premium costs. And then all of a sudden it gets delayed again, so he let people go, let their jobs go, and so now they have no job and no insurance. So, you know, we've seen a lot of problems with the implementation of the law itself, a lot of delays, which to me is an admission that it's just not working the way it was intended to work. Governor, nice to see you. I hope things are okay after that Oklahoma tornado. I hope you're getting your state back up on its feet because I know you got hit pretty hard. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Appreciate it.